Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Civilization 3 as the Maya. We are having... oh! Where did you... where did those barbarians come from? That was unexpected, let's move south. There must be a new barbarian hut somewhere. Uh, we, we have our javelin thrower in the area, let's go there. On the forest, that's pretty defensible. Now we have some slight issues with barbarians. Not many, just a few. But javelin throwers turn barbarians into workers, and that's rather useful. Like that. Please die. Please generate a worker. Two of them, no less. And he made an elite, but still no. Uh, work around that. There must be a barbarian ca encampment somewhere there. If he was able to spawn that many. Okay, we irrigated the farm there, the desert. Let's see, does it produce enough food? That's minus one food for... Uh, oh my, how is this computed again? Two food from the oasis, uh, one food from the irrigation, and one food for our civilization bonus. Yes. Yes, indeed. So that also counts as desert. So we're going to get more food out of, the, out of those squares as well. Very good. Because I don't think... If irrigations only get one food, right? Let's check. Uh, well, those are not improvements. That are just basic terrain. Uh, deserts produce nothing. Right. Basically, with irrigation plus one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Not much out of that. Can't get much use of them. But well, you can technically get use of deserts being an agricultural sieve because we get extra food from it. But they're still pretty darn bad tiles. Um, yeah, let's make a road there. Let's make a road. You probably want to you know, connect the resource to the south afterwards. We're still gonna run away from the barbarians up there. Probably not worth checking out that square out there. We found it anyway. I'm starting to wonder, shouldn't this just continent end? I don't, don't want to find another sieve way up there. In terms of luxuries, we're having a bit of a hard time. We've only found uh, the die here. Wait a second, no, we, no, we only that, that die, I don't think we found any other resource, luxury resource yet. A lot of bonus resources though. And a volcano. Volcanoes are nasty little things. Bronze working, yay, good. Um, yeah, I want to keep pushing this way. I want the libraries and stuff. And this is the worker, yeah. Um, let's see, what are we working in Chichenista? Still that one. I suppose we could do that and grow faster. I want the next javelin thrower. Before we grow to size 3, which should be okay. We need another, need another, need another settler. We need to spread out before we can build up. Um... Yeah, I think it's okay to build another farm. And you need to find where all those barbarians came from. Well, I think we just figured it out. There's a barbarian, barbarian encampment there. Still haven't found an enemy save there. Of course, the terrain doesn't matter since the warriors only move uh, one square at a time anyway. Well, this entire valley is rather interesting. We should probably b double back and check. As soon as we can. Oh, there's a sieve. We found a sieve. Uh, let's build a road on that one, and I'm going to connect these towns outwards. So, uh, we have four pips. He has two. I think that's okay. We killed him. Took the city. Did unfortunately not enslave anyone. Uh, 
Uh, we're probably gonna send him back to Chichen Itza and heal up. Unless we find anything good. You are just gonna protect the new town there. City of Palenque. Not the greatest placement, but uh, it, it'll do. It'll do. Yeah, the Spearman costs 20 turns, but that's probably what we want. We want something stronger defensively. And we found a sieve. Who did we find? Who did we find? Who did we find to kill? I mean, we have to kill them, right? First sieve we meet, they're gonna die. Mm, purple, I think that's the Iroqua. No, it's the... No, that's us. Huh. <laughs> okay, so I haven't technically met them yet. If it's the Mongols, I'm gonna be rather... I don't, re I don't recall the colors, so yeah. We'll find out right now. Maybe. Maybe not. But we haven't found any good yet for a long time. But that kind of worries me. More javelin throws are being built. So, have you met him now? No, we actually have to find one of his cities. See one of his cities to do that. And that is probably his capital. We can move... Yeah, and he had one city to more than that, it looks like. So let's just go in and say hi. Ooh, it's the Scandinavians, the Vikings! Yeah, he's not gonna be a gentle neighbor. I'm fairly certain. That's Trondheim, and I'm pretty certain he has built another town somewhere over there. So he's definitely gonna spread in our way, in our direction. We can fairly easily block him this on this continent. Unless it's... I don't know. Depends on what, well, how the, what the continent shape is like. Okay, can I talk to him now? Ragnar Lodbrok. And he's annoyed. I'd like to propose a deal. Let's see, what do you have? Cities? Yeah, you have... Okay, so you have one extra city you've built. We're ahead of you there. You have alphabet, you have iron working. Iron working? Yeah, iron working would be rather nice. I don't want to trade away alphabet, but let's see. What can I trade you for this? He wants pottery and masonry. Let's see, our forces outnumber the Viking. Interesting. So they're weaker than us. They do have iron working, and that's kind of bad. Never mind. And let me think about this for a second. He has iron working, but in order to take benefit of that, we ha he actually has to have uh, iron for the swordsman. Let's see, swordsman, swordsman, swordsman. Where are you? Since he has, so since he has that, he also has uh, bronze working, so he has the uh, phalanxes or the spearmen to defend himself with. Defend himself with. And he will have the swordsmen if I can find them. Aren't they? Or oh, they call something else. No, they are. There they are. Swordsmen. 3 2 1 unit. If he has iron. That's a big if. And he's worried about us. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see now, we're gonna have three javelin throwers. He'll definitely have some warrior and the warriors defending himself. I don't think he has a wall. And he has a one city out here somewhere. It's gonna take us quite a few turns to actually build up a sizable army. Yeah, I have to think about this. It that's why I don't want to trade tax. Especially two tax. And especially masonry because <laughs> yeah, we don't want him to have masonry because then he could build city walls. 
Right, you need masonry for walls. Yeah. So right now he can't build walls. He can build some fancy military units, maybe. Trading in pottery would be okay. Don't really want to. Did he have warrior code? Was that one of the techs he wanted to trade? Uh, foreign, let's talk to him again. Uh, his special units is later than ours. That was a deal. Alphabet and iron working for ceremonial burial. Um, let's see, iron working, ceremonial burial, pottery. Uh, would you care to offering something? Uh, alphabet and tango. No. Would you offer us iron working? And your gold. Uh, lump sum, ten gold. I want your cash. Would you accept this deal? No. What about just this? These are not dangerous techs. He already has uh, uh, archery, the warrior code. That's two techs versus iron. Well, I don't know. It seems like a fair deal to me if he accepts it. He will not have it. Okay. Uh, you basically. I want masonry. Uh, never mind. And we apologize, we'll move out. Do not test my patience again. Oh! Oh, you little bugger. Uh, let's see. What, a barracks? Well, produce veteran units, yeah. I just want to have more units rather than veteran units. He can build spearmen, and he probably will the second I declare war. It's gonna take us a long, long time to move an army over there. I mean, for every unit we build, it's gonna take like 20 turns just to get over there. Huh. And we still have some barbarians to kill and enslave. Over here. Uh, well, the, this guy is gonna go in this direction anyway. So let's do that for now. Let's move out and see if we can scout out Bergen from the town. Yeah, I was gonna build more set settlers. But now I'm kinda tempted to remove him. He probably isn't the only Civ on this continent. I'd be very surprised if he is. Because the continent is so big. And being this far away, this town will not yield much for us. I want more javelin throwers, yeah, anyway. Um, spearmen are better for defense, right? Uh, that would allow us to just throw away the warriors in trying to weaken him. Our warriors would probably just be junk anyway. No, I'm gonna make more jav javelin throwers and use the warriors as city protectors. I think that's a better option. And we're gonna make a road probably there. Doesn't really matter, I think. Drain seems to be the same. Okay, that's our second javelin throw. You had a war warrior there already. You just start moving across the jungle here. Yeah, farm up that, and then you're gonna start building a road. I assume that Bergen is over there. Yes, it is over there. That's the end of this continent. Good. So let's see. How many javelin throwers will we need to take down this fort, this city? He's definitely rush buying something. His population went down again. 
And he has incense over Yeah, we have to attack this. We have to take have to take him out. He's on the flatlands, they're very very difficult for him to counterattack. He has not don't does cannot have city walls. He might have by the time we get there. We will find out. Let's have a look. At the city of Burg. Wait a second. No, the city can be there, right. Probably is. My goodness, three incense. You, wow. That's a lot of luxuries. Yeah, we want to say hi. So let's keep building at least one more javelin throwers. Um, speaking of, we probably want to change the production of Palenque as well, even though it's rubbish. We must try to play to the advantage of our unit, and it's just now that the unit is good, right? Um, you're gonna sit in one turn for to heal. Some more barbarians, they must be... There must be unfriendly people around. There must be other people around. Let's see, you're gonna stay in Chichen Itza for a while. Just until that... Just until we can sort this situation out. Yeah, there must be... We haven't found any goodie huts. So there must be some other sieves. We have instead of barbarians around. Must be other sieves, right? Mm, that was just an encampment, right? Ugh. Paranoia. I has it. And you'd start improving that square. Oh right, that's uh, yeah, go there. Improve that. Definitely want that improved. And Jalen Thrower is healed. Um, if I move him out, the city is going to be in unrest. That's the problem. And that warrior won't be back for a zillion turns. Is it worth hammering out? It's like three turns to build a spear. Okay, let's do that. We probably want the other good stuff here, too. Ah. Uh, I want everything and I want it now. The temple will yield more culture, which is good. We're gonna do a very aggressive push here. We need... The problem is, we need to win that war. So, yeah. If we're gonna defeat him. We're gonna need a lot of units to do that. And I probably won't be able to afford a delay if I want the wonders. Okay, so you just sit tight there. For now. Okay, Bergen is... Oh, darn it. Okay, you're just gonna try to get back to Chichnitsa. Alright, no, you don't have to. Because I'm gonna get some other units. Ooh. Oh, this terrain, though. Awful terrain. Awful terrain for us. Do we want to rush by? This. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Let's see. Hurry production. Too many citizens. Okay, so it's not yet an option. Uh, what about down here in Copan? I mean, you should know. Hurry production will cost too many citizens. Oh, in that case, never mind. How? What's the conversion rate for citizens into production? I wonder. And I also wonder if you get an, any kind of notification on, on it before all your citizens die. Um, he still has just a... I haven't seen any better units than that. And this terrain is also flat, yes. So both these towns are on flat ground. Our troops is gonna move out. Uh, we would like to make a deal. He now has bronze... Oh darn it, he got mason. No, he doesn't have masonry still. Uh, still the same difference. Never mind. 
Goodbye. I probably want to attack that, yeah. Oh, there's an encampment there. Yeah, we can't let that stay. So we moved out of here. That's to be expected, I guess. Another warrior camp there. Still haven't found any saves in the south. the big picture. Let's see. Yeah, that's alphabet. We still want to push towards literature. And on the javelin throw, yeah, and then the spearman, that's fine. Largest sieves, we are fifth. Okay, yeah, we are not doing that great after all. It's just we happen to run into the worst sieve of the bunch. So it kind of inflated my ego. Oh. Yeah, take them out. Okay, didn't actually get anything out of that, unfortunately. And let's go over this way first. Oh, there's another sieve up here. Darn it. Okay, so there's another sieve here. Not sure which one that is. Probably the greatest sieve of them all. Because that would fit our luck, really. Okay, we are sort of committed now. For our uh, Kill the Vikings project. In two turns we'll have a Spearman, we're gonna get our Javelin Thrower. Uh, they're probably gonna build a settler after this. We need to spread out. We need to go quickly. Please, give us workers. Yay! Another worker. Lovely. But that's not where I wanted you to go, darn it. Uh, yeah, you're all in the moves. That's fine. Oh, I, I moved the worker forward. Uh, whoops. Okay, who did we find here? We found... Blue color. That's... Uh, Americans? No, no, no. That's... The Maya. Oh, the... The Maya. We are the Maya. Sumeria. Okay, hello, Mr. Gil Gil Gilgamesh. I'd like to propose a deal. You have three cities. You have mysticism. You don't have alphabet. Uh, what may I trade you for mysticism? He would actually do that up front. Wait a second. Alphabet is not writing. Yeah, that's... That's probably an okay deal. Impressed with our culture? That's not what I wondered about. Are they fear as our warrior? Our forces are numbered the Sumerian. Yeah, that I definitely hope so. Yeah, sure, we accept that offer. Uh, that's it, goodbye. Um, Lord Brock kind of hates our guts. He has the wheel, he has ironworking. I'm willing to trade him as soon as our army is in position. Then I'll trade text with him. And then I'll kill him. Uh, the Sumerians, however, are very difficult to deal with early on because they have the Andiku warrior. That is, yeah, a superb warrior. So they are going to be very defensible. Still, so if we take out uh, the Vikings here... That's going to be pretty good, and that also puts a more of a pressure on me to go this way. As soon as I have the uh, settlers for it. We still haven't found anyone in the south, so if we get the Vikings on our side, we can easily block off the southern part of the continent. There has to be a sieve down here somewhere. There has to be. That is... Ca that is... Is that it? Yeah, it is his capital. Okay, and he has two cities. Yeah, he has definitely already spread here. I think I can see the border. Ugh, okay. Um, we are now making quite a bit of gold. Maybe we should adjust the rate again. I'm gonna break even. Do we make a little bit of gold or break even? Now we need to make a little bit of gold. We need to make a tiny bit of money. Why come this city is not in open rebellion? Three content and unhappy. Um, 
What's the rate again? If they are... If there are more than... If they are more unhappy than content workers? No? Game content happiness. Let's see. Suddenly I'm uncertain. Happy faces. Uh, if there aren't enough faces... Hmm. Mood. Okay, so each content face makes one unhappy citizen content. Each happy face one content. Okay. Um. The mood. What makes them sad? Yeah. yeah. And more people are unhappy than happy. Content citizens are... Yeah, okay, so that's... Uh, if that's the case, Copan should fall into civil disorder. Right? Because it is now... Yeah. Copan will fall into civil disorder because it has more unhappy than happy citizens. Uh, yeah, cut that one. So now they're gonna be okay. Or should we... Hurry production. <laughs> it's that important. Get out my whip. So it's a matter of saving three turns. Nah. And if we do that, it's gonna grow. In... Less than 20 turns. Let's see now, we're gonna need three turns to build that one. We're gonna need more turns to build the next javelin thrower there. We're gonna need a ton of time to build the javelin thrower here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that. We're just gonna keep them that. And we're gonna queue a settler. This town certainly has enough food, so it... Yeah, you can produce settlers rather quickly. And it'll have to. Because Palenque will probably rush by the javelin thrower. Probably. Yeah, and I need to connect a road in it by road. Ah, we apologize. We will move out. Of course we will. You're attacked. I like that. Please generate. No, no extra worker. Yeah, you're gonna make another bar another javelin thrower. Uh, that means we can fortify you and wake up uh, the javelin thrower. He's an elite. We definitely want him up in the combat zone. And that is a worker we got from the barbarians. You are going to make a road between our towns. Uh, you're also a worker. Uh, move, move back to the banana. Banana. <laughs> Must have banana. Um, we're gonna move this way. He's gonna push us out, I suspect. I wanna see where he has planted cities. Okay, so this is a dead end as well. So yeah, we can probably conquer the Vikings. With our force, it looks like we're gonna be strong enough. And I'm, I'm definitely gonna try. Uh, you're gonna go along the coast for now. Are all these people working, milling about. Next turn we can probably start. See if we can force out a worker. Good. Yeah, that's what I wanted to build. You finished uh, the mine. Not that it's, those are the three squares I want you to work on, really. I suppose we could make another food tile here. These are, don't have shields and aren't as good. Um, the javelin thrower, just get this way as fast as possible. You're gonna build a road. And just, I don't think there's any chance for us to train much more. You're just gonna skirt him and see if we can find anything good up that way.
Ooh, more barbarians. And civil disorder. Darn it, I missed my... I missed my cue. Ah, da 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 Zoom to Chitsnitsa. Uh, cut the food. Zero growth. That's because you're in complete un unrest. That's fine. So, the javelin thrower here is done. If I hurry production... Cost the lives of one citizen. It's that important. Get me my whip. So now we just want to see if... Oh my, Kish. Yeah, he's spreading in our, way, our direction. I don't like this. He's going to be a lot trickier to deal with, unfortunately. Because of those Induku warriors of his. He's, he has a very cheap counters. We'll see how the war with the Vikings pans out. If that is a pushover war, then I'll consider uh, murdering our friend up here as well. <laughs> yeah, we are hostile neighbors. At least this early, because we need to take advantage of our unique unit. And get lots and lots of free workers. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a short break here, I think. So, uh, thank you for watching.